In this video, we are looking at rotation symmetry, sometimes known as rotational symmetry. Before we answer these questions, we really need to understand what is meant by the order of rotation symmetry of a shape. Let's start with an equilateral triangle. I'm going to rotate it one full turn and what we're looking for is how many times this triangle appears to fit exactly on itself. Now you'll also notice I've got a red vertex at the top that's just so that we can keep track of when we've completed one full turn. Now let's start from zero and count how many times this triangle fits on itself in one full turn. You'll see it's fit on itself once so far, but we haven't completed a full turn yet because that red vertex hasn't got back to the top. Let's continue. This is the second time the triangle has fit on itself. And that is the third time in one full turn that the equilateral triangle has fit on itself. So an equilateral triangle has an order of rotational symmetry of three. Next, we've got an isosceles triangle. Let's do the same thing. Count how many times this triangle fits on itself in one full turn. You'll see this only fit on itself after one full turn, so it has an order of rotational symmetry of just one. Now this is an important point. Every single shape after one full turn will fit on itself perfectly. So its order of rotational symmetry will be at least one. It might be more, if you remember the equilateral triangle had an order of rotational symmetry of three, but the isosceles triangle has an order of rotational symmetry of just one. No shape is ever going to have an order of rotational symmetry of zero. And again, let's have a look at an oblong. This is a rectangle that is long and thin, so it's not a square. Keep count of how many times this oblong fits on itself in one full turn. That's once, that's twice. Therefore, we say an oblong has order of rotation symmetry two. You might hear this said in different ways. We could say that it has rotation symmetry of order two or rotational symmetry of order two. These are just different ways of saying the same thing. Now that we know what order of rotation symmetry means, you should be able to have a go at these questions for yourself. We have a square, an oblong, that is a rectangle that is not a square, and then we have an isosceles right angle triangle. Pause the video and see if you can work out the answers to these. What you should have got is that the order of rotation symmetry of the square is four, the order of rotation symmetry of the oblong is two. We just saw that earlier in the video. And the order of rotation symmetry of this triangle is just one. You can mess around with exactly the same animations that I've been using in this video so far and for loads more shapes besides, just by scrolling down the page. There's an interactive applet that you can use. So do take advantage of that if you just need a bit of help seeing how these rotations work.